End zone, short. Jalen Johnson with the interception. Why do you love playing the cornerback position? Outside of the fact that my family played it, I would just say that it's the most, like, I would say, I don't want to say independent position, but, like, in a sense, my coach Scali and then put us in position to where it's just solely me and the receiver. Just having that thrill, that excitement to know that I have one person to myself that I can lock up and potentially take out of the game. I mean, it's just fun to me, and I just enjoy taking that joy from other people in this case. But I just enjoy taking, just taking people's fun out of it. So you're comfortable playing on an island? Yeah, 100%. You have to have some confidence and swagger to play the position, right? Yes, sir. You possess that, right? Yeah, you got to be confident. If not, you can, you can set yourself up to get beat if you're not confident in what you're doing or confident that you're going to stop the person in front of you. I watch all the great cornerbacks, and they're great trash talkers. Right. How important is that? <laughs> I thought this was a matchup. Mismatch. I'm in man-to-man -man cover. You got to try to beat me. It's a, it's a mentality um, you have to have, right? Honestly, it, it kind of goes into confidence. You can't trash talk if you're not confident. And then kind of if you trash talk, it kind of puts you in a position to, to put out kind of what you're talking about. If I'm telling you, okay, well, you're not going to catch a pass, I have to have that attitude and that confidence that you won't. And as I'm doing that, I might not let you catch a pass. I mean, even if I do, I'm going to tell you, okay, well, it won't happen again. And I just keep that confidence and that energy going to fulfill what I'm talking about. And with that confidence you possess, do you feel you're the best cornerback in the Pac-12? I feel like I'm the best corner in the country, just based on my preparation, based on how I come about the game. I mean, that's just my confidence in everything I do. And you have your eyes set on the NFL for good reason. Has that always been a goal of yours, and, and why did coming here play into that? It's been a goal of mine from since I first played football. I've always watched the NFL. I've always watched college football. But when I got here, or I came here for the simple fact that I felt like I had the best opportunity to fulfill that in the quickest way. I mean, my goal coming in was to come in, graduate in three, and leave and declare for the NFL in three years. And I just entrusted the coaches that to help me do that, and they have all the way up until this point, so I'm just fulfilling in the process. When Lucky Fotu and Bradley and I and Julian Blackman and Zach Moss say they're coming back, what was your reaction? Pac-12 championship. I mean, those guys are important to our team and can really help us and have helped us up until this point. So, I mean, it was just kind of a reload in a sense, just let's put our bullets back in and go at it. Beat Utah. Beat Utah. Beat Utah. Beat Utah. Beat Utah on three. Pressure off the edge. They get him! You're not opening the season with an FCS opponent. You're opening with BYU. What's it like starting a season against your rival? Honestly, it's no, it's no different. We're really just coming in how we do any game one, really excited to go out and play against somebody outside of ourselves. I mean, it's just, it's just a regular game, honestly. Your decision to come to Utah, now that you look back on it three years ago, how did that decision impact who you are as a player and as a person? I want to say it did more for me than what I thought it would do, initially looking back at it, because I kind of came in with the mindset of, okay, I'm going to just play stick to myself, don't really talk to too many people, or just handle my business and leave, but it kind of turned more into, I don't want to say this it sounds cliches, but I kind of found family here and people that I love and people that I trust. So, I mean, it's just deeper than just football and education. I mean, I found brothers, I found coaches that I know I can look to for help. I know the coaches care about me and it's just more than what I could have asked for.